SOS word prescriptions for urgent omens. Reverend Dr. Holly Namokyun, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of doctor in ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for minister. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bum Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Congratulations. Today I introduce Ms. Irene Park's book, Flash Epiphanies, which records the miracles of God. She is a translator of news from heaven. This book is her testimony of all the miracles the Lord has given her. I strongly recommend reading this book. You can buy this book on Amazon Kindle Book. I believe everyone must have experienced urgent moments in life, whether it is a serious disease or something else. The gravity they feel must be the same. It is not possible to evaluate which is bigger or heavier between criticality and urgency before death. I believe the degree of all urgent moment is 100%. My most dire and urgent moment was when I was lost in a mountain for five hours. I was on my way to a hot spring located within a deep mountain to lead a seminar at 2 p.m. I took a wrong turn and started wandering. Since it was the era before the cell phones, I had to look for a public phone booth. Unfortunately, the public phone booth I found was located in front of a liquor store. There were about 20 drug addicts sitting there and they all gazed at me with faint eyes. A few days before, there was an article in a newspaper about one pastor's family murdered in a mountain. They were on their way back home from the Christmas concert rehearsal. The car broke down on the way. Two male family members went out to look for a phone booth while the wife and a daughter stayed in the car. When they came back, they found them killed. It is rather common that if a car is stalled in a mountain, drug addicts would kill people randomly. These drug addicts own guns for self-protection, but when their mind goes haywire, they would shoot anybody. Since I remember that article, I could not go out to make a call. I just turned on the ignition and again began to drive down at a threatening speed. The road was very narrow on a mountain cliff. It was a desperate flea in order not to be killed by those drug addicts and the seminar was no longer on my mind. Now I had to pray for the fuel not to run out on the way. If the car stops, my life would end as well. At that moment, I recited Psalm 23 and pledged to the Lord. If you save my life, I will preach the gospel until my mouth fumes a scorched smell. But last night, I had a very scary dream. I was about to leave for a video recording session. As I went out of a building, there was no road, but only a mountain with cliffs. I finally found a log pathway, but the moment I stepped on it, it was not a staircase, but a hanging ladder made of logs. I was extremely scared, but fortunately escaped to look for a road, but there were either cliffs or gorges only. After a while, many people came out of the building and one person lost footing and fell from the cliff into a river underneath to death. The rest of the people were all in panic. And at that moment, I lost my footing and began to fall. As I was falling, I caught a cord 
and it was the cord of salvation. I cried out, help, help me, Lord, having no idea whether it was a tree branch or a rope. Then the cord became longer and took me lower and lower. Since I do have acrophobia, my body kept trembling even after the dream. These days, in the Heavenly Newsroom Band, I teach about Through the Dark Valley in Psalm 23. I personally experienced the valley of death in this dream. In order to explain realistically, I researched about valleys, even though it is only theoretical. But what I saw in my dream was on top of a cliff, which gave extreme fear. I experienced that even in the slightest misfooting would cause a fall to death, and that caused me to tremble in fear and panic even after I woke up. No matter how well you may understand the situation, unless you experience it realistically, you might end up barely reciting the scripture verses. Therefore, I wanted to find the word prescriptions for SOS and give them to you since you must depend on God unconditionally and send SOS to heaven and share the word, which gives us the positive proofs on our lips constantly. The word prescription, the Lord who is with me wherever I am. My loving kindness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and the one in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. Psalm 144, verse 2. But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who have formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. Isaiah 43, 1 and 2. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. Psalm 139, 7-10 The word prescription, call to God, then he will rescue you. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalm 34, 6-8. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Psalm 34 17 through 20. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Psalm 107, 19 and 20. In my distress, I cried to the Lord, and he heard me. Psalm 120, verse 1. The word prescription, he is with me. The Lord host is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah, Psalm 46, 7 and 11. As for me, behold, 
my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. Genesis 17, verse 4. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him, and whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. Genesis 39, 21, and 23. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Matthew 1, verse 23. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, verse 20. The word prescription, I will never leave you. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Genesis 28, verse 15. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Joshua 1, verse 5. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. Psalm 27, verse 9. The word prescription, do not fear. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. Genesis 15, verse 1. Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not keep silent, for I am with you, and no one will attack you to hurt you. For I have many people in this city. Acts 18, verse 9 and 10. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. Luke 12, verse 7. The word prescription, he will lead. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. Psalm 28, verse 9. For this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. Psalm 48, 14. In the daytime, also he led them with the cloud and all the night with a light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink in abundance like the depths. Psalm 78, 14 and 15. They shall neither hunger nor thirst Neither heat nor sun shall strike them. For he who has mercy on them will lead them. Even by the springs of water, he will guide them. Isaiah 49, verse 10. Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. Psalm 43, verse 3. You can order these three books from Amazon Kindle. 
365 Prayers of Blessing for Your Children, Theory and Praxis of Land Work, The Lord's Visitation for 14 Days, My Beloved Bride, Heal as I Reveal. The Heavenly Newsroom English video will now be uploaded on another channel too. The channel's name is News from Heaven and is linked to a Yun Namok TV banner. Search Holly Namok Lee on YouTube and you'll find it. Thank you. In Hebrew, Menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term Menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yun Namok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.